Welcome to another exciting tutorial. If you've checked out my previous video, How to Animate Faces on Objects with Lip Sync, then you're going to love this one. For this tutorial, I'll be using Create Studio, a user-friendly animation and video editing software. The best part? If the deal is still active, you can grab it for a one-time fee, no monthly subscriptions. Pay once and enjoy lifetime updates. You can find the link in the description below. All right, let's open a new project. Now, let's add a background. Go to the Media tab and click Import to upload your background. Now, drag your background onto the timeline. Select it. Then click on the Enlarge icon to make sure it fits the canvas size. Next, let's add a minimal style character that we'll use to create a face on the rock. Click on 3D Creator, select Minimal, download the character, and drag it onto your timeline. Now, let's remove all the details and make the character one solid color. You can watch my previous video where I walk you through it step by step. Since I've saved it as a preset, I'll just click Saved and select the character. Now, simply click and drag the face onto the object to position it where you want. I'm placing it on the rock. Now, select the Customize tab, then go to Properties and set the opacity to 80%. Next. Resize the face using the white handles to fit it on the object. For 3D rotation, click Rotate and drag the face to position it. When you're done, click Rotate again to exit rotation. All right, now let's set the opacity back to 100%. Now, we need to make the character the same color as the object. Move the playhead next to the character so you can see the object on the canvas. Next, select your character on the timeline Go to the Customize tab and click on Colors. Now, let's change the character's color to match the object. Click on the color bar, select the eyedropper tool, and click on the object to pick its color. Now, copy the color code and apply it to the other color bars. Lastly, click on Lights and apply the color to the frontal light. All right, move the playhead back to the character. Now, click on the Effects tab, choose Color Removal, and apply the same color. Set the distance to about 21%. All right, when you click on Idle in the timeline, a menu will appear with different facial expressions to choose from. I'll go with happy for the first expression. Now, let's add audio and sync it with the face using lip sync. First, import your audio and drag it onto your timeline. Now, right click on your audio and choose sync with character. Also, make sure the character's timeline matches the length of your audio by clicking and dragging the square icon. Hello, I am a rock. Nice to meet you. All right. Let's add another facial expression. Select your character, go to the Action tab, and click Add Animation. Then, choose Idle from the menu. This way, you can build your character's script by combining idle action with facial expressions matched to your audio. For example, let's add an angry facial expression for the next part of the audio. Click on the idle action we just added in the timeline and choose Angry. Finally, upload your second audio and sync it with the character. Hello! I'm an angry rock. Not so nice to meet you. All right. Now let's add a face to the window. This time I'll use an Animoji character. Go to 3D Creator, select Animoji, download the character, and drag it onto your timeline. Now, select the character. Go to the Customize tab and remove all the details. Next, let's match the Animoji skin color to the object. Select the character, open the Customize tab, and click on Colors. Select the skin color bar and use the eyedropper tool to pick the color of the object. Now, copy the color code and go to the light settings. 
apply the color code to the frontal light and set the intensity to about 22%. Then, adjust the ambient intensity to around 17%. Next, go to the Effects tab, find the Color Removal option, and drag it onto your character. Apply the color code, then set the distance to around 17%. Alright, now move and resize the character so it fits on the object. The advantage of using an Animoji character is the ability to choose from a wider range of action animations. Cool, let's put the window face to sleep and set its length to match the end of the rock audio. I am a rock. Nice to meet you. Now, let's add a second animation for the window face and upload the audio to match the animation, just like we did before. Oh no. Oh, how did I fall asleep again? Oh no. How did I fall asleep again? Wasn't I? Uh, never mind. I'm just a window. Alright, that's it. And don't forget, you can save these characters as presets. So for your next project, all you need to do is adjust the colors and use the color removal option. What if we want to use the face on a moving object? For this, we'll use the SVG library, which has thousands of 2D objects. Click on the Media tab and select SVG API. To keep it simple, I'll choose a heart. Now, let's change the color of the heart. Select the shape, go to the Settings tab, and choose your desired color. Next. Let's duplicate the Animoji character, select it and click on Duplicate, then drag it above your shape. Delete all the actions, leaving just idle. Now, resize the face to fit onto the shape. Next, copy the shape's color code and apply it to the face's skin color. Then, apply it to the frontal light color and, finally, to the color removal effect. And lastly, Adjust the distance to remove the skin color. Experiment with the percentage to find the best fit for your selected color. Now, let's add an audio for the heart. Import your audio and sync it with the character, just like we did before. Next, select the shape, face, and audio. Right-click and choose group to combine them into a single element. Next, let's set the heart as the end screen. Drag the group to the end of the timeline, then adjust the other layers to align with the total length of your video. Hello there, I'm Hart. Nice to Now, let's adjust the size and apply a motion effect. For example, we'll add a slide in motion. Select your group, go to the motion tab, and pick the action you prefer. Hello there, I'm Hart. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more. Hello, I am a rock. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm an angry rock. Not so nice to meet you. Oh no. How did I fall asleep again? Wasn't I? Uh, never mind. I'm just a window. Hello there, I'm Hart. Nice to meet you. Let's spread some love.